So, folks, Janet Yellen saying the X date when the U.S. government runs out of money has been moved up to June 1st. Normally, I wouldn't listen to the Treasury because it lacks so much credibility. But checking around town, the CBO also believes that government cash could run out in June rather than July or August. So there's a little more credibility there. And also, the Peterson Institute is talking June. So is the Brookings Tax Policy Center. So-called X date, that's the run out of money date, could come in June. Could. Doesn't mean June 1st. Could be during the month. But this is all very imprecise, and no one really knows. By the way, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in the Republican conference, which has the only debt ceiling increase plan in Washington, coupled with budget reform, well, they got their product out in April. It's just that Joe Biden won't deal with it. And there is no other debt ceiling increase plan in Washington, D.C. No other plan. Even Republican Senator Mitch McConnell, the leader of Republicans in the Senate, even Mitch is telling Biden to start negotiating with Speaker McCarthy. Take a listen to this. I think what the House has passed makes a lot of sense. He and the Speaker need to reach an agreement so we can get a solution that the Senate is not a relevant player this time. They have got to have a measure that can pass the House. How does it pass the House? It has to have the support of the Speaker, and I'm behind the Speaker. Wow. Wow. It's a new Mitch McConnell. Anyway, one reason the government's running out of cash faster than people thought is because of the slumping economy. In fact, the Biden economy in the last five quarters has produced 0.9% growth. In other words, less than 1% over five quarters or 15 months with a 6.4% inflation rate. All right, that's a prolonged slump with harmful inflation. And that's why Biden's polls are so bad. That's why Wall Street Journal columnist Gerard Baker is writing that Trump could win if people vote their pocketbooks. And indeed, the former president is talking about the economy at every whistle stop. Meanwhile, GDP itself doesn't really matter to typical working families. But what matters is the soaring price of groceries and gasoline and the fact that inflation is running faster than their wages. That is the key pocketbook issue. Now, because of this prolonged economic slump, year-to-date tax revenues are running $74 billion below last year. Individual tax receipts, $95 billion below last year. Meanwhile, federal spending, all right, get this, federal spending is running $359 billion above last year. That's $359 billion above year ago. And that is why the budget deficit for the first half of the year, is running about $433 billion above year ago. Now, the deficit last year, fiscal 22, was $1.4 trillion. At this rate, we could be running for FY23 a deficit of somewhere between $1.7 and $2 trillion. All right? These numbers were compiled by Joe Lavornia, formerly the chief economist of the White House National Economic Council. He knows whereof he speaks. Mr. Biden says he's cutting the deficit. But for that, he's getting a lifetime 10 Pinocchios for that untruth. Now, I know all these numbers are boring. I get that. But I hope they paint a picture and tell a story that an inflation-prone, stagnant economy bankrupts the country. That's where the damaging debt comes from. Say it again. Inflation-prone, stagnant economy and continued overspending, that's where the debt comes from. Now, to get even more boring, uh, folks, I'm sorry, but I got to tell you how exciting it is for me personally. I know it's boring for you, but look, there's only so much the Treasury can borrow from the Civil Service Retirement Fund or the Postal Service Retirement or the Federal Financing Bank or the Exchange Stabilization Fund or the Thrift Savings Plan. Actually, Borrowing from these retirement plans is itself a pretty terrible idea, but that's what happens when you have a malfunctioning economy with continued overspending and high inflation. Now, this story will only get worse if Joe Biden continues to avoid talking turkey with Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who has the best plan in town to save America's finances. 
In fact, again, he has the only plan in town. So I say quit stalling, President Biden. Get down to work. Save America. Pass McCarthy's Limit, Save, Grow. And by the way, stop bankrupting America, Mr. President Biden. You know what I mean? Stop bankrupting America. Grow the economy.